On today's episode of Globe, I tried to portray Elvis was at an arcade in 1956 in Detroit, Michigan. See the location, learn the history. Stay tuned. First, we stopped at the Fox Theater where Elvis performed on May the 25th, 1956, and some iconic, iconic photos were captured inside their building. I did all the work I had to do to get inside for you guys, but unfortunately, the Fox did not give us permission on this day to, to film, but I hope in the future we're able to get inside and line up some of those awesome pictures for you guys to enjoy and to tell the story of Elvis and the Fox Theater. But I did learn another story. Before the first show, right there at the Fox Theater where I'm pointing at, you see the marquee, marquee there, Elvis and Gene snuck out of the theater, probably the side of the theater, came down this sidewalk to a pinball machine, to an arcade, played a pinball machine to an arcade. The building was right here in front of us. These pictures that I'm showing you on Elvis was captured inside this arcade here in Detroit, Michigan. And you see, just like so many Elvis places, it's not here any longer. But this was the spot that these pictures you've probably always seen if you're a fan of Elvis was captured from. And now there's the Little Caesars Arena where the Pistons play here in Detroit, so now you know. You see this old church is directly across the street. Here is a historical aerial from Detroit, Michigan here on Woodward Avenue from 2018. You see the grass area where I was just standing at, where I put the arcade at in 1956. Where here is a historical aerial in 1957. And that building is right where I need it to be. So I believe I am right on this one. Elvis was right there inside that building once upon a time here in Detroit, Michigan. And that building was right here on this green grass area with the picnic tables and they're located on Woodward Avenue. But it's just, it's still cool for me, even if a building does not exist, to stand in the location, guys, and to bring you this story on Elvis Presley. Right here on this grass, I'm inside that arcade. Stay tuned, there's more to this episode, but I would like you to click the like button right now if you're enjoying it so far. So YouTube will share this video to more Elvis fans. And don't double dribble, subscribe. Now, let's get back to the show. Have you seen these pictures of Elvis? I know you have. Look at him shooting some ducks, probably. I don't know, it says a carnival gun. Shooting these cats, probably. A few things stand out to me when I look at this photo. I see the sun shining through the glass off of the pinball machine, which tells me that was the front of the building. The reflection is the front of the building. And also, this game that Elvis is at looks like it's on a wall. So, knowing how those old buildings are, if you're standing inside, I would assume... A wall would have probably ran down this bush line. So somewhere that picture was captured right here, in my opinion. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I am in the building, I would think. The cool thing about these photos is it captures young Elvis Presley. Elvis superstar with his cousin who's along for the ride in an arcade. Just being a young guy and having fun, killing time before all those girls screamed and grabbed at his coat jacket later that night at the Fox Theater. This is real Elvis. The Elvis I enjoy learning more about his real life. Now let's learn some arcade history. These were the co-owners of the arcade that Elvis stopped at on that Friday in May of 1956. Bernard Pelleggi and Frank Bertani owned Woodward Amusements. That was the name of the arcade, Woodward Amusements, here in Detroit, Michigan. And that building, of course, was right here, as I have mentioned a few times, and I bet that church, no doubt, that church was across the street when Elvis and Gene were standing right here, probably in this area, playing 
that pinball machine or shooting those cats that I showed you in the pictures. Now you can see where the Pistons play right here. Where the arcade used to be in 1956. So right across from this building now is the baseball stadium as well. That's across from the Fox Theater. So let's make the walk. If Elvis and Gene left out of the arcade, I assume they walk right here. Because in the book it said they snuck out of the Fox Theater. So I assume they walk down this sidewalk. Probably go across the street right here. And we'll go do that. Now I'm assuming what they did. They could have gone to the front, but I doubt it. I'm sure if he snuck out of the theater. This is the fox right here, guys, to the left. Maybe through one of these doors or the door here. Somewhere down here to the left, maybe in the back. Elvis and Gene was here, somewhere here at the Fox. I know inside here. Maybe that's the door that he went through, right here. You know? Maybe he goes through this door and the light's there. <laughs> It's somewhere out here. What do you think, Spy Guy? I hope you enjoyed this episode of Globe Trotting with Trey. If you did, like this video and share it with your Elvis friends and family members. And just know, once upon a time in Elvis Presley's life, 1956, I could place him right here where this grass is in an arcade, just enjoying his afternoon before he rock and rolled. Fox Theater, Detroit, Michigan. So don't double dribble. Subscribe for more Elvis Presley history content each Tuesday. Elvis Presley was here once upon a time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.